Hey guys, today I would like to share you how to get Safari on your older version. If you don't want to update to iOS 15, this app offers you a similar feeling and user interface. I use a third party app from the App Store and uh, this is my iPhone 7, it is actually on iOS 15. But if you take a look here, it is very similar. When I scroll down here, uh, the address bar will be high and on iOS 15, it just uh, moved down but it's similar feeling. And uh, the cool thing about this browser, I can just go ahead and uh, create a new one. And you can see I got a custom background as well. Uh, this background can be changed uh, just like on iOS 15 as well. And now uh, I can just go ahead and click on the three dot here. And then I can uh, go into background gallery uh, where I can change the background for this uh, browser. You can see there are a ton of background uh, that you can select from here to uh, set it on your uh, browser. And uh, let's say uh, I can select on this one. And then uh, I can just go ahead and set the background. So it requires uh, the internet in order to change your background. And now I can just go ahead and set the background here. And you can see the background has been changed. And one more thing is uh, you have ability to upload your own uh, background as well. So you're going to take a look on the top here where you can upload from your phone. And then you can just go ahead and set the custom one. The thing I like about this browser is uh, the animation itself. You can see it is very fluid if I uh, slide down here. And we get all of the uh, popular social media like Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and stuff like that. And we got the address bar right here or like on iOS 15 it is very similar I can just go ahead and just tie it in uh, for example I can uh, tie Apple this video brought to you by AppTrend AppTrend allows you to quickly transfer app and app data from iPhone to iPhone or from iPhone to PC and you can transfer app data including WhatsApp, Line and Viber and many more not only that you have ability to restore backup data or you can backup data from your iPhone into your computer and you can even install apps into your iOS devices. One more thing, if you want to transfer data from your iPhone to Android, you can upgrade app trend. More information can be found from the link in my video description. You can see after I search, uh, the address bar will be stay at the bottom. And when I just scroll across here, you can see uh, my address bar on my iPhone 8 uh, has been high. Um, it offer like, like I told you, it is very similar. And if I go into the tab here, um, this is so in grid, but this one, uh, it just uh, show you in this way, but um, you get an idea. And now uh, one more thing is in setting. So if I go ahead and hit on three dot here, you will be able to access to all the feature that you need. And similar to iOS 15 as well, you can see here. So right there, we have new tab, uh, we have bookmark, uh, and we have like desktop version, we can copy the URL and we can share so it just uh, rang in different way but the feature are uh, all, all the same talking about refresh page uh, from iOS 15 uh, you can just pull down to refresh but from here um, this one is uh, you can click on this button to refresh so it's not that bad if you want to set it as a default browser you can just go ahead and go into this one and then make sure on default browser app, uh, you select on this one. And this is the app that you need. It's called uh, Yandex. Uh, don't mind me if I uh, pronounce it incorrectly. So all, all you have to do is just go ahead and download from Safari. It has a good rate in the App Store. And I think uh, you may like it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. And then we'll see you guys in the next one.